Hello YouTube, I'm Naman Jane and today we're going to learn about using animation using C Sharp in Unity. Let's open Unity now. If you haven't watched my previous tutorials, it's fine as you're only going to talk about the animation animation aspect, but we're going to apply this to our previous tutorial. So before we use animation, any animation, we need to import some models from the Unity Asset Store. Now this will be free, but you'll have to make an account in Unity to download these assets. So we will first go to unity3d.com, go to their asset store, go to 3D model, characters, and look for skeleton pack. You're going to open this in Unity, and you will need account. I've already logged in, and you're going to import. I've already imported this packet, so I'm not going to import. And yes, you're going to see three folders after you have imported. You're going to go to the prefab folder, and you're going to see four prefabs. Prefabs are basically models that you can use in your game. You're going to drag and drop the first one, which is Skeleton Dark. You're going to select it. And we're going to make the rotation 0, 0, 0. And we're going to change the scale to 2 all. So as you can see, we have a skeleton over here. So now we don't have any script attached to this, but we can simply attach our script we've made before, which was click to move. We're going to change it to 10. And we're going to make a new character controller for this. There we go, we have our new character controller. And we're going to drag it over here. And we're going to delete our player object that we made before. And as you can see, now the object moves without any animation. Now, to add animation, we're going to use the animation component over here. As you can see, its default animation is idle and has seven different animations. So to use that, we're going to, use, we're going to go to our script. And we're going to add in two animation clips. I'm going to call one of them run, which is used when the game object is moving. And we're going to make one more animation clip. Idle for when the game object is not moving. So from our previous tutorial, we know that when the if statement is met, it's going to move. So this is when the game object is moving. Now, if this condition is not met, we're going to make a else statement, which is going to execute this code over here. So if this condition is not met, you're going to execute the code over here, which means that this code is going to be executed when the game object is not moving. So we know when the game object is moving, we want to play the run animation. So you're going to say animation dot play run dot name as simple as that. So now when the game object is moving, it's going to call the animation component and it's going to play the run clip, the run animation clip. But when the game object is not moving, we want it to play the idle clip. Sorry. There we go. Now, as you can, oh, of course. Now, as you can see, we have two public variables run in idle, but we have to assign them over here. So you can just click on 
one of these animations and it's going to take you to the animation folder and you can just drag and drop the run animation onto our an run animation clip and do the same for idle and you can see that our skeleton has a run animation but now we can see that it the the transition between both the animation run and idle is not smooth enough so for that we're going to use a function called crossfade so instead of play we're going to use dot crossfade. This basically smoothens the animation between in during the transition. And the same over here. And as you can see, our animation is smoothened. Now just to Oh, and so now just to end our tutorial, we're going to make a camera that follows our, our player. So for this, we're going to import some assets from Unity. We're going to go import package and import script. Now, after you've added the asset, the standard asset, you're going to see a folder called standard asset so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your main camera you're gonna add a component go to camera control and you're gonna say add smooth follow so this is basically adding a script to camera main as like we added a click to move script to our skeleton dark game object but the difference is that this smooth follow script is already made by somebody else and you're using it so this script asks for a target which is going to be your skeleton so this the, so the camera is going to follow this target so as you can see we have a camera following our target but we want this from the top view and not from behind the player as in Diablo so for this, we're going to have to do some changes to these variables. I'm going to change the height to a desired value. And we can see that we can, we are looking from the top view, but as you can see now that the camera is actually rotating with the player, but we don't want that. So now we're going to edit the script. So that the camera does not rotate with the uh, with our player so to open the smooth follow script you're just gonna click on smooth follow script over here okay so now we're gonna edit the smooth follow script so whenever you edit a script it is very important to read the comments so you understand what's happening so let's start from this function over here so as you can see, it says here calculates the current rotation angles. As we know, we don't want the script to rotate and calculate the rotation angles. We can take out the wanted rotation angle. And we the wanted height, we need the wanted height because we want the camera to stay above a certain height. So we know we need this line. But then we know we don't need the current rotation angle because we don't want our camera to rotate. Same with over here current rotation angle this is used for damp damping the rotation which we don't need and same for over here we don't need rotation damping because we're not going to use rotation and can take this off too and we're going to read the lines of code and here as you can see it changes the position of the transform which is the main camera's transform and it also uses the current rotation variable which we don't need so we're going to take that off and so we're just let it going to follow with without the current rotation and it's going to look at the target and it's going to use the current height to set it set its wise position so now that we have edited the script we can see if it works
as we can see the camera does not rotate anymore however we're going to set the distance and height so that it we look from the top and now as we can see this is a third person view click to move game it is very similar to diablo and there you go thanks for watching my video please subscribe and like my video for more content